And now I want to go to our third and final story, and we're going to bring back a segment called Bible Study with Democrats. Oh, God of Pronouns. All right, so you guys will remember Francis Collins, who is a professing Christian and the guy who mapped the human uh, genome uh, and uh, obviously a fantastic scientist, a very brilliant man, and was also the director of the NIH during all of the COVID uh, lockdown uh, scenarios. And he also was on multiple different Christian programs, including Ed Setzer's, uh, among others, to try to encourage Christians to be the first at the line at Walmart to get the jab. So now Francis Collins was just recently back in action, baby, so that he could tell us all how much it is important for us to get the vaccine. So here is that. I think people of faith may be trying to find where's a credible place to look to get those answers. Just one place I would say, Curtis Chang, who's a pastor, has done a whole series of videos uh, on Christians and the vaccine. People really ought to have a look at that. They're very well done. They're based on the facts. He deals with a lot of the information that's out there that are scaring people and tries to really put the truth into the picture. And as a pastor, somebody who believes in the truth, the truth will set you free. That's what Jesus said. So how do you like that? The truth will make you free. And the truth in this case is the truth that Francis Collins is sharing. Now, the reason that we have some reason to be skeptical about whether or not Francis Collins is actually sharing the truth with us is that we know better now. And what we were saying at the very beginning that common sense told us, even though the experts were telling us something different, is that the vaccine is good. And if you're older, perhaps it's a it's a good risk assessment to take it because of the comorbidities of, of COVID and all of the like. But if you're a healthy young person, there's probably no reason whatsoever to get a vaccine and that natural immunity is better than vaccine immunity and that you can still get covid with the vaccine, which we're now hearing more and more and more all the time, how much of these things that we were told back in the day are total fabrications and total lies. So it's interesting when I hear Francis Collins say the truth, I hear completely fabricated lies, or more importantly, what you knew at the time, which is fine. But I I think rather than talking about the truth and how much we love people, and that's if we love people, we would get a vaccine, we, we might need to have a different conversation. And that could be a conversation, perhaps, let's say, about repentance. Now, I know we don't like that word anymore. We've changed it to maybe just uh, turn over a new leaf in your life. But this is time for a conversation about repentance, right? Because what actually Francis Collins should be doing is apologizing to the Christian world for getting in bed with Big Pharma and getting in bed with people like Fauci and using the Christian church as a tool of the state to try to impose his vaccine um, propaganda. More importantly, Let's just step away from the whole vaccine thing for a moment um, so that we don't get demonetized on YouTube. And let's just say this, that the truth, as always, has absolutely nothing to do with this man, a vaccine, or even the propaganda that he tried to impose upon us during COVID lockdowns. The truth is always, and according to Jesus, has to do not with medical science as much as it has to do with something much more deeper rooted in the human heart, the truth of our existence and what we're here for. Now, this is obviously what Jesus was talking about when he was saying, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Oddly enough, Jesus wasn't talking about getting a vaccine. I know that will come as a shock to most of you, but when Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free, he was always talking about believing that there is a God and believing that that Jesus is that God, and believing that salvation is necessary for mankind because of their fallen nature. These are the much bigger and more important truths that will make you free. And I think it's funny that Francis Collins wants to so quickly hijack the word truth and then use it for his own purposes. But of course, the truth, by the way, is always that thing that offers short-term pain with long-term rewards, like working out. You need to have the short-term pain of working out in order to have the long-term reward of being fit, like with reading and with writing, all things that are sacrificial, especially in our day and age, but often offer great reward on the back end. So, in other words, something that doesn't have a financial incentive motive or something that isn't just merely about influence peddling. 
So the truth won't be found with Francis Collins, but it can be found in a book called The Bible, but I'm repeating myself again. Now, before you go to the comments section and talk to me about how antiquated the Bible is and how a bunch of uh, stupid shepherds used to, uh, used to read it, um, and of course, that's if you don't realize that those stupid shepherds probably knew more languages than, than you do. But before you do that and before you go to the comments section, do me a favor. Pick up that old dusty book called the Bible, read it, and tell me if you didn't find something life-changing in it. And if you did, then I'd love to hear that down below. But also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and most importantly, go with God. So you just got done watching a small excerpt of a much larger episode. You can find the link to that full episode down below in the description of this video. So you definitely want to check that out because if you like that clip, you'll like the much larger episode. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that little bell to be notified when great new episodes of Indie Thinker come your way. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.